Hello and welcome to your next tutorial on Visual Basic and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about modules. Now what are modules? Basically they're little files with the, with the same extension as Windows Forms that ends with the extension .vb but uh, what their purpose is is a collection of procedures or functions that you might want to have accessed by multiple Windows Forms. So in this example I'm actually going to make it kind of like a teacher in this main form we want to maintain the class average while we'll have two other forms that pop up for two students let's call them Timmy and Tommy shall we so uh, so as you can see I have absolutely no code so let's uh, throw out a label and auto size off and the only words I want to have in there is class average. There we go, with a colon. I want it to be right centered. And then let's create a label. Uh, where is it? There we go, another one right here. And we'll set auto size to off here as well. We'll want the text to be blank though. And let's have it left middle auto size false and we'll want this guy to line up perfectly with it there we go and is that perfect there we go and let's make it fix 3d so people can see it where's the border style here it is uh, there we go so now we want to be able to access Timmy and Tommy's grades that's going to be our class our, our, uh, our class is two students so we'll call that one B BTN Timmy and have it say Timmy down here. Whoops, I don't have them there. There we go. And I'll copy this, paste, and I'll call this one Tommy. And up here, BTN Tommy. And now we're going to have to create a couple Windows Forms for both of these guys. So up here, I'll throw an Add a Windows Form. I'll call it Form Timmy Add. And then I need to add another one. I'll call it Form Tommy. And there we go. So now we're going to need these buttons on our original form here. Where is it? Form 1, here it is, to actually open them. So here, within our Timmy button, we're going to have to create an instance of Timmy. So I'll call it Timmy as new form Timmy. And then Timmy.show dialog. So that should open Timmy up. I'll click save and now we need to do the same for Tommy as well dim Tommy as new form Tommy and then down here Tommy dot show dialogue so that should open both of their forms and now let's uh, mess with their forms so let's do Timmy first here we'll add in a list box now uh, where is it here it is really bad there we go need to widen these forms just a little bit and this will be a list of his grades basically so I'll call this one list grades Whoops. and we'll want to add information to that so let's add a button and every time we add that in it's whatever we type in will be part of it so btn add and down here we'll call it add. Uh, where is it? Why does that keep happening? And every time we click add, it'll add well, whatever we we want in here. So let's create a variable called let's call it dim x, or let's call it grade as double. Actually, we'll have to call it string because we'll be taking in a string and we'll have grade equal to 
and then input box and then basically it's whatever we type in type in students grade grade and the default value let's make it zero even though we hope it's not that and then we'll have to convert it so we'll have to create a new variable dim grade con as double and then down here we'll type in grade con is equal to c double of whatever they type in so we're gonna have to type in grade and I'll convert whatever we type into a double and I actually forgot to throw in a try catch so allow me to cut this and then paste it down here and then message whoops try there we go so right here message box dot show and then inside we'll go x dot message error dot okay so there we go so we'll have an error in case nothing, everything doesn't work and then we'll have list there we go so list grades dot items dot add and then what we'll add to that will be let's throw in a string so we'll have it I don't know assignment one colon and then we'll throw in a plus and whatever grade they got so grade con dot two string so that should throw in whatever they uh, typed in in there so I don't know why that why that's in indenting but alright I'll take that and basically we have to copy all of this so I'm actually gonna co copy all this because uh, Tommy or Timmy's no yeah Tommy's is gonna work exactly the same way so I'm gonna copy all this go into Tommy and basically do the very same thing so uh, I'll throw in a, a list box so the straighten this a little bit there we go and I'll call it list grades and let's throw in a button called btn add and here I'll call it add and I think that's the same thing I have for both of these right yeah pretty much the same thing let me widen this one as well and then within this code I'll paste everything and it should work uh, the very same way so n sub must be preceded by a matching sub so that's form tommy dot vb line 24 oh there we go I need that extra sub there we go so I click save and now everything works the same it'll be adding on uh, their individ individual grades here but what if we would like to have the average keep updating every time we add an assignment to the class average right here so what's this called uh, label let's call it label average uh, what we can do is create a module and basically it'll contain a function so every time we hit add whatever happens in here we can access a function so here click add add a module and we just want it to be a module and let's call it whoops MDL and then I don't know sample sorry I can't think of anything so module sample I'll click add and inside here we can put it in a function so let's call it private function and what should we call it we should call it average because that's what's going to be calculating as double and then basically what's going to be happening is we're going to be taking in whatever they type in for the grades so going back to the module where is it so many stuff now isn't it so we're going to be taking in whatever grades there are so by val grade as double so in here we're going to have to type in dim and then let's say here uh, average points so since you're going to be typing in the points it will be taken in here for the grade that they have how many points they have and then here we're going to type in average 
points will be plus equals to whatever they typed in for the grade. So keep updating. Now we have a bit of a problem. Every time we go into this function, it's going to be destroyed and recreated. That means it's going to start over. So what we're going to want to do is make it as static so that it keeps updating during the lifetime of the program. And then down here, we want to create static i as double as well. And then we're going to want to increment it each time that we go through. So i plus equals 1. So every time we go in there, and we'll actually want i to uh, start at, you know what? We're going to have to create an if statement to make sure it's 1 the first time. If i is equal to 0, then i plus equals 1. So only the first time it goes through, we'll add 1 to it to make sure that it's 1. And you know what? I'll just make it add 1, because uh, I don't want to add 2 to it, just like this. So, uh, you know what? It will actually add it before we do this. So actually, we don't need this. Sorry, uh, my notes. I, I don't have notes for this one. I'm doing this off the top of my head. Okay, so at, um, this will be added, added 1 to it. We have our first grade, and it will keep being updated. And we want to take the average of what they put in there. Okay. So we'll want to create a new variable called static. And actually, we don't need to. All we have to do now is return. So the average points keeps updating. So we can just put in average points. And it's actually not the average. It's, just, it's more like total points than it is average. So we have average points. So that keeps updating divided by i. And that should give us the average of whatever we type in. So now both in Timmy and Tommy, so let's go to the Timmy first. We're going to have to throw in the, the grade that we have into the function. So, whoops. So now we're going to have to uh, type out form label. So we'll type out form and then whatever the name is. So actually just form one because that's our main form dot label average dot text will be equal to and then the name of the function. So what did we call it? Did we just call it, I don't even remember what we called it, um, average. So let's go back to good grief, wow. Here we go. So average, whoops, MDL, sample, dot, and then the name of that uh, function form, whoops, average. Oh, whoops, we didn't make it uh, public. Sorry about that. So make that public so that others can see it. There we go. Average. And then we're going to throw in whatever we uh, put in. So grade conv. Uh, so we throw that in there, and the text will be equal to this, basically. So dot uh, to string because we want to make make sure it's a string, and then let's copy this. Copy, go to Tommy's, and do the very same thing here. So I click save, and now let's run this application and see it works. See if it works. I ha I did not make any notes for this. It's going to be oh my goodness if I actually did this correctly. So I click add, and let's say the first person, uh, the first thing he got was a thirty. So assignment one, he got a 30. Now the average is a 30. So I'll close this. I'll throw in Tommy. I'll add, and let's say 80. And there we go. He got an 80. So 80 plus the other one was at 30 was 110. So if you, uh, so well, now it disappeared because I did not retain it. But there you go. That's how you do the class average. Uh, I'll throw in another assignment. Sorry about it not retaining. I didn't have enough time to do that part as well. Uh, let's do another 50, throw that in there, and well, now it's not so much of a nice number. But that's how you do that, and that's how you use a module in order to access uh, different form elements to do something really, really cool. Uh, so I hope this tutorial, or more like project, was very useful for you. And that's how modules can be very helpful for an example like this, where you can just add on grades for two different students and check out their average. Uh, so again, I hope this was uh, helpful for you. It was quite a bit of information. 
and I'll see you next time.